2022 is finally over uh, it has been a wonderful year for other people and the opposite for others but generally i believe uh, we are all grateful that uh, we are still alive and uh, we have 2023 uh, ahead of us so in 2023 it's a new year for us to start all over again uh, to correct the mistakes that we did in 2022 uh, where we have been doing well uh, to push harder for us to be successful so in this last days of 2022 which i hope you are enjoying your holidays i thought i should just do a video give uh, the information about the teachers to relocate to the UK. Yes, there is an opportunity for teachers to relocate to the UK. So stay tuned. welcome back to my channel for those that are watching for the first time my name is keke Letso, aka keke thank you so much for choosing me amongst thousand youtubers please remember to subscribe to my channel and hit the, be the bell button for notifications my regular viewers thank you so much for always watching my videos i hope my consistency in 2023 is going to improve okay without wasting any time uh england has opened opportunities for internationally trained teachers to come to europe yes it has opened for them to come to europe uh, to be specific to the uk to teach uh this information is extracted from uh the government website so everything that i'm going to talk about i it's all from the government website uh, and please remember i'm not an agent I don't have any connections to the government or any agencies. I'm just a girl trying to share information with my people. Yeah. Anyway, today, how I'm going to do it is that we are, I'm going to go th through the website with you. Yeah. I'm going to go with you through the website uh, where I got all this information. Mm. I found this information on the government website like i said it's www.gov.uk uh, so it says teach in england if you qualified outside the uk this was updated on the 20th december 2022 so this is recently updated a few days ago so guys please grab the opportunity while it's still there uh do your things as quick as possible while the opportunity is still new before a lot of people rush into applications and before uh, the gaps uh, or the vacancies get filled and before it can be difficult for you to to secure the job okay so let's move on uh it applies to publication for wales scotland and northern ireland it's okay so working as a teacher in england if you qualify there outside the uk uh, this guidance is for non-UK citizens who qualified as teachers outside the UK. So to teach in England, you need the correct visa or status. We'll talk about everything as we go down. Teaching skills and experience you can demonstrate to an employer. So here uh, it's the employer who, who's going to decide whether you have the skills and experience that they need. And also you need to pass the criminal and professional safeguarding checks. Uh, the employer is the one who's going to organize everything. Like the criminal record, it's the police clearances and everything. But the employer, if they decided they're taking you, they're going to guide you on everything that they will need in order for them to help you to apply for the visa. So the correct visa status could be the following which is the pre-existing right to work in the uk um this is for people that are already in the uk let's say i'm on spousal visa um i can apply to be a teacher on this or yes uh this are or pre-settlement status that are eu settlement scheme or indefinite leave to remain in the uk for those that are already in permanent residence uh then you need a job offer allowing you to apply for a skilled worker visa yes you need the job offer like it has said there uh, and the eligibility for another type of visa if um, this one is for those people who went to those other universities 
yeah those other ones i'll show down as we go down uh what it needs then it says irish citizens do not need to do not need a visa to work or live in the uk so again in addition to those other three things it says it is helpful to have it's not mandatory but it will help you as they are saying teaching qualification this can be from your own or another non-uk country so if you trained even outside your country of origin they consider this uh, and english qualified teacher status qts like they are saying this will be helpful it's not really necessary but for a qualification uh, teaching qualification obviously your the employer would want someone who has the teaching qualification and this qts we'll talk about it as we go down um okay then it says applying for qualified teacher status this is the qts that we we're talking about uh that is not really necessary like we said so this qualified teacher status or qts is the professional status teachers in england gain at the end of their teaching training uh teachers who qualified outside the uk can work in english schools for up to four years without this qts that's why it, i was saying uh this qts it's not really necessary for now when you relocate because you, you have four years uh before it is it is needed but they says however obtaining this qts will make it easy for you to find work and develop your career as a teacher so let's say uh you arrived the first year second year maybe you now feel ah, maybe it's high time that i get this qts i've settled then you can um apply to get this qts probably they do the tests and everything then you'll be a qualified uh teacher you have that qualified qualified teacher status okay so now let's go on um so it says uh the reason why this Q it, this qts is needed is because many english state maintained schools QT qts is legal requirement when the four year exemption period is up so it means after four years of you being here you'll not be able to practice without the qts so within that four years of arrival in uk you will need to to do this qts uh then in on in, in all english schools uh qts is used to assess the quality of candidates for teaching jobs so it just the emphasis why this is necessary then it says how to apply then now we go on how to apply for oh this is how to apply for qts um i think this you can do later on your own or when you get to the uk because the, the most important thing now is how to get the job in uk and relocate to this site so if it's allowing you to to come even without the qts there is nothing to worry about this qts you see it later so it says visas and immigration that's where we go to um uh, you can check if you need a uk visa uh, or contact uk visa immigration for help so like we said it showed up there that um non non uk residents or those that don't have their permanent uh, in uh, those that don't have um sorry indefinite leave to remain uh you need the visa yeah so you can leave the, the ones outside the eu and all those things but if if you don't have the indefinite leave to remain you need the visa obviously you're not in, in the uk so you need the visa uh so this one is for those that need to apply for eu uh, settlement scheme these are for the europeans yeah so uh okay now let's move on um search for how to search for a teaching job and apply for a skilled worker visa so it says the main visa route for non-uk teachers in england is the skilled worker visa you need the skilled worker visa to apply for this skilled worker visa you will first need to search for a teaching job in england you can use the uk government's teaching vacancy service to search for this 
available teaching roles so let's just go on it and see where it leads us so this is the site that you know at least it's a secure one it's uh it's not going to be scams the schools are on the uk government's website so you know you're not going to be scammed or anything you can even uh even if you find on the other sides the schools you can even come here to to verify that the school is there it uh it's on the list for for uk for uk on the uk government website so then there you'll start now and continue all that is doing okay so that is applying for for this job now let's continue uh so before you apply for teaching job you it says you contact the school to make sure it is a home office license sponsor uh if the school is a sponsor it can help you apply for your visa schools can also become sponsors to employ you so this is just saying for yeah for those that are sponsors i think if you just apply for the jobs and everything they are going to realize that you are not in the uk and everything and um if they can sponsor they'll let you know if they don't sponsor they'll also let you know that they do not sponsor they need people that are already in the uk so for you to apply uh you need to have a job offer from a school that is licensed home office sponsor so the first thing was to apply for the job. Uh, now there's a job offer, isn't it? And you can speak, read, write and understand English. So let's see what they need here. So they say the level of English language, it's level B1, isn't it? On this common European uh, reference for English scale. So this B1, um, it says if you are writing um there there are these different uh, kinds of tests english tests it's either a secure english language test CELT, um or you having gce a level scottish national qualification level four or five scottish higher or advanced higher english gained through study at a uk school that you began when you were under 18 so now we are talking about maybe people that are not in the uk isn't it having a degree level academic qualification that was taught in english if you studied abroad you need to apply through uh this ECCTIS. this one okay um you can go in here if you want to go through this route uh, to prove the qualification and everything but the easiest way was to write your english uh, this english you can write eyelets and everything i think if you go on this cell it will it will explain to you what you need to do in everything but the b1 level b1 um it's uh what point is that it's it's at point four it's four to five yeah it's it's a it's a bench score four to five yeah four to five so it's four or four point five or five that is the overall overall score that you can get okay let's now go back to that where we were and then the other thing for you to be able to apply for this uh worker visa is that your salary meets the requirements for skilled worker visa so how how are the salaries let's see they quickly go through the salaries so this salary is like they were saying the table shows a minimum salary for non-uk teachers must end to be eligible for skilled worker visa by region and status so it's the ones that are that that have qts and those that are without qts of which maybe um yeah from non-uk you can come as non-qts yeah so those with qts that's the the amount if you are in a london so they separated because they are different um they are different salaries depending on the region or the area that you are staying it's inner london outer london london fringe rest of england so these are the amounts that you get the the salaries the, these are the minimum salaries so maybe your employer can decide that they are paying you more than this twenty thousand four hundred and eighty um this is per year yeah it's annual it's annual it's annual salary yes so um so now we can move 
so like i was saying um so oh this one is those that do not uh without a skilled worker visa uh, okay besides getting the skilled worker visa remember up there we're saying it can either be through the skilled worker visa or the the other visas so these are graduate visas this one's uh it say it just depends on where you graduated there are those few schools like harvard and uh, oxford university yeah those those book, big schools and they are saying you also if you also have three year for phd students without a sponsor and everything or having when you are a high potential individual visa those are are the things yeah those are other visas but for now i was just concentrating on the skilled worker visa so this is just it then it says for more information you can contact teach in england at education.gov.uk as we also that's the information from the government website um in the description in the description details below uh, i'm going to put i'm going to put the this website where you, this website the government website and i'll also put a few vacancies that i came across when i was checking the vacancies uh, so that you can try to apply and there are other lots more of vacancies so go try your luck you never know how 2023 might work for you and please share please remember to share these videos with your loved ones please remember to share these videos to the teachers and don't forget to subscribe because in 2023 there are a lot more that are coming that i'm going to share with you if you have any questions remember to put them in the um comment section below and i'll attend them to you as soon as i can uh thank you so much and uh have a wonderful 2023 happy new year all right love you bye